everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you a couple of holiday DIY type of gift wrapping techniques first I'm going to show you a little last-minute DIY gift that you can get for anyone and then I'm going to be showing you how I'm wrapping all of my Christmas gifts this year so I hope that this video will inspire you and maybe spark an idea of something that you can get for a family member and I hope you enjoy so without further ado let's get started First, you're going to add two cups of flour into a mason jar. I only had a half cup scoop right here, so I did four of those. And then at the end, you're going to tap it all down so it's nice and flat. Next, you're going to add in one teaspoon of baking powder. And then afterwards, you're going to want to add in about a quarter teaspoon of salt. To add a little bit of color and texture, I added in one full cup of rolled oats. Now you can use steel cut or quick cooking, I really don't think it matters. Um, I just think that the color and texture of oats and cookies is really delicious. Then I'm going to add in a half cup of white sugar. And afterwards, I'm adding in another half cup of brown sugar. I used light because that's all that I had on hand. Um, and then you're going to kind of pack it down a little bit with the spoon or with your fingers just so that you can make more room at the top. Lastly, I'm adding in these semi-sweet chocolate chunks from Trader Joe's. I love the way these go in cookies and you're really just going to want to pack as many as you can into the top so your cookies are nice and chocolatey. I'm using this homemade Christmas jam as a part of the gift. And you're going to take the two mason jars and put the lids on the, both of the tops and kind of smush it down to make sure that it all fits. Next, I took two squares of fabric that I had pre-cut with a cute little holiday pattern and I screwed it on top so that a little bit of the fabric peeks out on the sides and I think this adds such a nice little texture and touch to the gift. Lastly, I'm using some Baker's twine and this adorable little gift tag that I got at TJ Maxx. I'm tying it around the lid of the jar and it has this beautiful foil lettering on front and I think that this really pulls together the whole look of the gift. And that is the finished product. So the next gift I'm going to be wrapping is for my boyfriend. I got him the magic bullet. I use my magic bullet all the time to make my smoothies in the morning. Um, I can make breakfast in them and I like to make salsa or just like a quick and easy pasta sauce. I find that this comes in a lot of handy and I think that he'll use it a lot. I also got him this little notebook and it's one of those like lay flat notebooks. It lays completely flat so you don't have to like constantly be pushing down the page. Inside, I just wrote like some little recipes that he could follow. I thought it was like a cute idea because he always is looking to learn how to cook better, but I think he's really like overwhelmed with the idea of it. The other day he was trying to peel garlic and he was like, oh, it's taking me so long to peel garlic. And he didn't know the trick where you just like hit it with a pan and then it peels right off. For someone who wasn't raised knowing how to cook, um, I can understand how people like wouldn't know that. So that's why I wrote this little notebook. So now I'm gonna show you how I'm going to wrap it. how much I'm going to need to wrap this box. Next, I'm just folding over the two longest sides and then taping them down so that they kind of lay flat in the middle of the box. Now, I'm not really an expert gift wrapper here. I'm kind of just going along with the methods that I've seen my mom do over the years, but I'm kind of using this sort of like envelope style tucking thing that I've seen her do before. It's not the neatest present I've ever wrapped, but I think overall it came out pretty clean looking. I'm using the same baker's twine that I showed you before, and this technique, you start on the top of the box and then you flip it over, and you have to do this sort of twisting method at the bottom. You can kind of see what I'm doing on the screen. It's easier than just describing it. Um, and then you're gonna cut the string to the length that you want, 
and then you're able to make a cute little bow at the top of the box and I think it kind of looks almost like an old wrapped mail parcel or something like that. I don't know if I'm describing it right, but I think it looks really cute. Now I'm using another gift tag from that same little TJ Maxx thing I got earlier and I'm going to use this gift tag as a cute little way to both decorate and label the box. As a finishing touch, I'm adding some fresh sprigs of pine to add a natural element to the gift. To wrap the second part of the gift, I'm using this red plaid wrapping paper that I had left over from some other gifts, and I'm just gonna kind of fold over the edges of the wrapping paper so that it covers the book completely. Since uh, I had such little wrapping paper to use, this one was a little bit more difficult to wrap, so I kind of had to pick it up and finagle it around a bit. Um, but it ended up looking pretty clean, just like the other one. Like I said before, I'm not an expert gift wrapper, but I think it's kind of the thought that counts. You could use some scissors to cut off any extra trim that you need to get rid of, um, and then just tape it down. So once I have the finished wrapped gift, I'm going to kind of slide it underneath the ribbon from before and just tuck it in so that they rest on top of each other. And that is the finished package. In this bag, I'm putting all of the Gymshark gifts that I wrapped for my family, and they're in the same red plaid wrapping paper that I showed you before. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below of anything that you would like to see from me next. Um, I hope that you liked this DIY gift and that maybe you'll use the same wrapping technique that I did. I'm looking forward to making some new videos after Christmas is over. Um, I have a lot of really great ideas that I'm very excited about. Um, so in the meantime, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Love you. Bye.